I really like this setup. This looks nice. I'm gonna actually make this the thumbnail. Well, you'll know. You'll see it on my channel. I would have uploaded it last week. Uh, yeah, what do you guys think of this? Well, this has to do nothing with today's video. Uh, hello, and welcome back to Vintage Treasures. And today, I wanted to do something uh, completely unrelated to all this turtle stuff. Although, that is beautiful. Uh, we're going to be looking at even more beautiful things than this, if you could believe it. Uh, these are gems, the greatest finds I've ever had in my years of collecting. And I've compiled it, and I'm going to show you it all in one video. Um, some of this you've seen already, but a good amount of it you've never seen. This stuff has never touched your eyes. Uh, yeah, so let's get started uh, with our first item. So my first find here, I got in a lot of uh, Ghostbusters stuff. I mean, it wasn't anything too eventful. There was not really any gems besides this in there. There's a couple things, uh, actually. Another one of those things I found is in this video. This is one of the reasons I made the video. Uh, it is the Ghost 2, the Ghostbusters uh, role-playing ghost trap. And uh, the interesting thing about this is it glows in the dark, and I'll show you that uh, right now. Okay, I've turned down the light as much as I can, and it's not glowing yet. So what I'm going to do is turn the room completely pitch black and see what we get. There's nothing too... Uh, can't even see it. It's right over here. Yeah, it's it's more of like a thing you'd have to be here for. Uh, it it definitely is showing up in real life. Uh, so let me try to actually get this on camera. So let me put it in front of the camera right here, and I'll turn off the light. I get, yeah, you can see it a bit. I mean, it definitely shows up a lot better uh, if you're here in person, but you can definitely see it. And the reason this was such a great find is because the ghost trap is very expensive nowadays, especially functioning. Uh, and this ghost oftentimes gets lost, hence how I got my hands on it without having to buy a ghost trap. Uh, you know, it just gets mixed in with all the other Ghostbusters stuff. And sometimes it's so small... I mean, there's my hand for scale. It gets lost. This stuff's very small. And as a kid, you're not really thinking about the value of these toys in 30 years. Uh, but definitely one of the better finds out of that lot. Now, the light doesn't like treating this guy well. But I definitely do when I found this guy in that lot with the ghost from the ghost trap. Uh, and that is because this bright features Egon uh, from Kenner still has his tie intact and functioning. And I actually almost broke this tie during cleaning uh, him, so you can think about that and uh, scream in your head with agony. Uh, I know I did, because that was definitely terrifying. I almost broke the tie off while cleaning it. Uh, this figure, unfortunately, suffers from foxing, as you can see on the arm right there, uh, which happens over time. It happens to carded figures, because ventilation but I think this is weather uh, weathered from uh, the weather and uh, it doesn't look too bad on display I think the tie definitely grabs your eyes as a collector before any of the foxing does so yeah definitely one of the best finds out of that lot of Ghostbuster stuff so my next find uh, I actually found this way before I created this channel this is a food fighter uh, by, uh, I believe, Mattel. I'd have to check that, actually. I don't know where that is on him, but I believe it was from Mattel. And this is in the late 80s. I want to say 89, so right around Turtles. Uh, everyone was making weird combinations to try to cash off those Turtles. And I don't really think any of them were too successful besides Street Sharks uh, and Biker Mesh from Mars. But uh, I can make a whole nother video on that. Uh, but these did not take off too well. I unfortunately do not have his backpack, uh, nor do I have his uh, gun. Unfortunately, those get lost because, well, as I said before, children play with these things. They're not thought about, and they lose it. Uh, this is Mean Weenie. I think that's his name. Mean Wiener? Mean... So something to do with the hot dog. Something around that. Uh... Yeah, so he has all of his arms intact, and I actually picked this guy up uh, for five cents, which was great. And at the time when I picked him up, I didn't know what he was. 
I wasn't too in-depth into researching. I just liked the way the toys looked. Uh, now I've definitely gone deeper, and I watch people like Pixel Dan who pick this stuff up uh, and talk about it. So, yeah, definitely something I'm glad I grabbed when I did. And it makes you, it makes me wonder if I missed anything out of that bin, uh, maybe even his accessories. But I'm glad to have him himself. Uh, he looks great on the shelf. And yeah, I'm I'm glad I grabbed him and still have him. And the next thing I wanted to show you guys is this uh, vintage uh, 1993, I believe. Let me check that. Uh, yeah, 1993, so the same year as Scratch. Uh, Mona Lisa figure. Uh, reminds me a lot, actually, at the beginning of collecting, I thought this is the same character as Venus uh, from The Next Mutation, but it's not. Completely different figure. And I learned recently that it's actually from the Toon Turtles line, uh, which is very interesting. She's missing her tail and all of her accessories, but I got her out of a, uh, out of anything, a cooler full of vintage toys at a yard sale before I started making videos. I think it was right before, probably a month or two before I started making videos. Oh, it fell over, unfortunately. So, uh, I didn't get to document this find when I got it, but I do still have all the toys that I got from there, uh, throughout all the garbage. And yeah, this is definitely one of the greater finds I got out of there. Uh, and just to look at some other turtle stuff, uh, from that same, uh, box, I got a gun for one of the neutrinos, I forget which one, uh, again, Toon Turtles, and, oh, I forget April's friend's name, Irma? I don't want to get it wrong, I think it's Irma, correct me in the comments if I'm wrong, uh, yeah, it's one of those things where, like, if you move it, uh, you can see different pictures. There we go. Looks like she's dropping her bag. I don't know if that shows up well on camera, but this had the antennas still intact. Unfortunately, when I asked, the guy said that he, uh, didn't want to sell the Ninja Turtle stuff off. Uh, but I guess he was fine with these couple of things being let go. I did find a couple other things in that bin, but nothing else that was really, uh, a great find it was just relatively normal stuff or broken stuff so uh, these are the greater finds out of that uh, cooler full of vintage toys and another figure that I didn't know was worth anything when I picked it up was uh, this uh, Ace McClough Ace McClough from Centurions unfortunately I did look in the bin I think I, I think I saw this before and I knew it had accessories, I just didn't know what it was, and I did research when I got home. Uh, but I picked this up, I think I put everything in a bag, and then asked them what they wanted for the bag. And they said like, $2 or something like that. So I got them for relatively cheap, because I did get a bunch of McDonald's toys. And an E.T. plush. Uh, pretty nice paint. His arms are not broken, but no accessories. But it's still great to have a Centurion. In my collection especially the way the prices are going right now uh yeah if you're gonna buy centurions pick them up like right now you might even want to pause the video and go look them up on ebay pick up a couple come back and watch this because they are definitely skyrocketing in price i know the traumatizer has gone up significantly in the past year so yeah try to get your hands on some of these centurions if you're interested now, this is a great find uh, with some unfortunate uh, circumstances, so I did find this uh, in a bag of turtles. I think it had around four, five, six figures in it, uh, turtle-related. A good amount of accessories, some Ghostbuster stuff. I wasn't collecting Ghostbusters back then, so I didn't know what it was back then. And I had this guy in there. I was unaware of what it was. So, uh, it kind of floated around my room for a bit, my collecting room, and I decided to look it up one day and found out it was from the Toxic Crusaders line, uh, and I've seen these figures before, so when I saw them going for as much as they do, uh, I felt, I felt pretty stupid, I mean, you can't predict everything in the toy market, uh, or know everything, uh, but it sucks when you see something and you're like, I could have had that for a dollar. Uh, but it's still great I have him, and with an accessory, uh, probably 
Uh, not the best accessory you could have came with, but I'm not complaining. I got him in a bag for $5. So yeah, great find. Made by Playmates and sculpted by Varner. Uh, if you're interested in collecting this line, there's only nine figures in the line. So it's going to be relatively easy to obtain. Uh, loose carded's a bit harder. But they are pretty expensive, so I'm going to warn you on that. So uh, for this one, uh, obviously it's a... Tiny Turtles. I, I don't know what the official brand name for the smaller turtle uh, figures are. That whole line. Uh, I've been calling them Tiny Turtles, but now that I think of it, I have no idea what the official name is. Uh, at the time, and this sucks, at the time, uh, I didn't go out that day for some reason. So someone actually picked this up for me. And it sucks. It makes me cringe just thinking about it. Uh, right as they found this... They, he uh, he saw a guy walking off with two of the mini play sets, which is, it, it sucks to think about that. I mean, uh, I could have had them. I was that close, but I guess it just wasn't meant to be, but this was. Uh, it has all of its stickers on it. Uh, they're peeling a bit, but it's nothing too bad. Uh, it looks great still. Uh, I do have one figure. I have the movie Splinter from this line but it's just so expensive to get this stuff nowadays you can get the play sets pretty cheap but they never come with figures or accessories and that's gonna drive up the price I mean you can only imagine how small the accessories are this is a full scale vehicle uh, and this is for scale that's a regular Ninja Turtle figure that is Space Cadet Raph next to him and the figures actually I can pick one up right here are this big and those figures have accessories so you could only imagine how easy it is for those to get lost especially in the hands of kids in the late 90s and next ooh, let me change the lighting on that I'm gonna dim lights a bit uh, we have the one the uh, yes yeah, not the only but pretty rare figure so I don't know, pretty close to that scratch and I've documented on this channel pretty well uh, that I got the scratch figure. I got it during the start of this channel, and he was in rough condition. Uh, if you want to see those videos, they are on my channel. They're a bit deep, uh, but they'll they'll be pretty easy to find uh, on my channel. Uh, yeah, he was came in pretty rough. His arms were off, his tail was off, uh, and this bag was broken in half. I don't want to break it again. Be careful. This bag was broken in half. As you can see, I repaired that with some uh, glue. Nothing crazy. I didn't want to uh, do anything stupid or irreversible with it. Uh, and I redid all the joints in this. It was a pain. I didn't really document it because it was already a stressful prog uh, process, so I didn't want to have to worry about recording it as well. Uh, but I did have before and after. I do have it on my channel, so if you're interested, you can look at that. Uh, but yeah, this is definitely the gem of my collection. You see the tail swivels. I have it all articulated still. Uh, I don't. I don't like moving the joints. I'm not gonna lie, but they do move. They do move. There is some movement there, uh, and the replacement shackle. Uh, yeah, pretty rare figure. Pick this guy up. I won't spoil it for you. Actually, I'll let you watch the video yourself. Uh, yeah, the guy who shipped it wasn't too uh, smart. In the realm of packing, uh, you'll see that in the video. Turn this light back up. So, uh, while we're looking at this cat, yeah, he's in pretty rough condition. I know, uh, it sucks. I didn't do this to him, I just wanted to say that uh, before I close this off. But if you enjoyed today's video, please consider subscribing to the channel. I post content on this channel uh, exclusively about vintage toys and other stuff like that. Uh, I'm talking Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, uh, Masters of the Universe, G.I. Joe, I guess while we're at it, uh, Toxic Crusaders, Centurions, uh, Chuck E. Cheese merchandise, uh, all sorts of things. If you're into, like, vintage toys, this is the one, uh, shops, uh, one-stop shop for all your vintage toy needs. Uh, yeah, so... If you enjoy that type of content, subscribe to the channel, and have a great rest of your day, or night, 
and goodbye.